you might need to build or create a secure web application like this. Keep watching this video and we'll see how easy to create a secure and robust web application with industrial standard technology. Hi everyone, I am DDJ, the author of GMware.com. Today, I want to show you a comprehensive step-by-step -step Rails 4 tutorial on building, login, or authentication using Spring Security Core plugins including example. In this Grails World tutorial, we will show you how to build a secure Grails World application using Spring Security Core plugin. We will add the login and register functions to the Grails World application. The purpose of using the Spring Security plugin has simplified the integration of Spring Security Java. The usage of this Grails World Spring Security plugin is similar to Grails 2 or 3. Well, there's a lot of updates on the Spring Security code and its dependencies to match the compatibilities. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, create a Grace 4 application. Step number two, install Grace Spring Security Core plugin. Step number three, create user, role, and product domain class. Step number four, Create custom user detail service. Step number five, override login auth view. Step number six, add user info and log out to the nav bar. Step number seven, create register controller and view. Step number eight, create the secure products CRUD scaffolding. The flow of this tutorial is very simple as you see in the previous demo. We have a secure product list that only accessible to the authorized user with role user and product CRUD for the user with role admin. Any access to this product resources will be redirected to the login page as default if no authorized user. In the login page, there will be a link to the registration page that will register a new user. Following tools, frameworks, libraries, and dependencies are required for this tutorial. JDK Age, Grails 4, Grails Spring Security Core Plugin, Terminal or Command Line, Text Editor or IDE, before starting to the main steps, make sure you have downloaded and installed the latest Grails 4. In Mac, we are using the SDK main. For that, type this command in the terminal to install SDK main. Follow all instructions that shows up during installation. Next, open the new terminal window or tab, then type this command. Now, you can install Grails 4 using SD command. Set that new Grails 4 as default. Check the Grails version, type this command. Here is our Grails version using 4.0.1. Step number one, create a Grails 4 application. Same as previous Grails version, to create a new Grails application, simply type this command.
that command will create a new Grails 4 application with the name Gadget House with the package name com.jamware. Next, go to the newly created project folder, then enter the Grails 4 interactive console. In Grails Interactive Console, type this command to run this Grails application for the first time. Here's the new Grails for look like. Step number two, install Grails Spring Security Core plugin. We will install and configure Grails Spring Security Core plugin for the database we keep H2 in memory database. You can change to other relational database configuration. To install the Grails Spring Security Core plugin, open and edit Build Gradle, then add this dependency in Dependencies Array. Next, compile the Grails application to install the Spring Security Core plugin. Step number three, create user role and products domain class. We will use the Grails S2 Quick Start commands to create user and role domain class for authentication. Type this command in Grace Interactive Console. That command will create user and role domain class with the package name com.jamware. Next, open and edit Grace app domain com.jamware role groovy to add the default field after the bracket closing when this domain calls. Next, create a domain class using regular Rails commands for product. Next, we need to create an additional field in the user domain class. For that, open and edit Grails app domain com jamware user groovy. Then add a full name field after the password field. Also add a constraint for that field. Next, open and edit Grails app domain com jamware product groovy. Then replace the domain class with these Groovy codes. Step number 4. Create custom user detail service. Because we have to add a field in the previous user domain class, we need to create a custom user details. Create a new Groovy file with rc main groovy home jammer custom user details groovy. Then add these lines of Groovy codes that add full name field to the Grails user details. Next, type these commands in the Grails interactive console to create a new Grails service. Open that file, then replace all Groovy code with these codes. Next, 
register that new custom user detail service in the Grace app config sources groovy. Step number five, override login out view. We will customize the login page to make UI better and add a link to the register page. For that, create a login folder under views, then create an auth GSP file that is that folder. Open and edit, Grace app, views, login, auth, GSP, then add these lines of GSP, HTML tags. Next, we will make this login page as default or homepage when the application opens in the browser. For that, open and edit, Grace app, controllers, URL, mappings, groovy. Then replace this line with this line. Step number six add user info and log out to the navbar. Now we have to implement post logout to the nav bar with logout button active and the user logged in it successfully along with the user info. For that, modify Grace app, views, layout, main GSP. Then replace all GSP HTML tags with this. As you see, there are built-in Grace Spring security tag lib. Check if logged in and check login in. User info field equals full name. The check logged in user info field equal full name only working when you implementing custom user detail service. Step number 7. Create register controller and view. Back to the Grails interactive console to create a controller for the register page. Open and edit that file, then replace all groovy codes with these codes that have two methods of register, landing page, and register action. Next, add index GSP inside Grace app views register index GSP. That file will open automatically. Then add these lines of GSP HTML tags. Step number eight: Create the secure products CRUD scaffolding. Now we will make product CRUD scaffolding and make them secured and accessible to raw user and raw admin. To create CRUD scaffolding, simply run these commands inside Grace Interactive Console. That command will generate controller service and view for a product domain class. Next, open and edit Grace app controller for that controller groovy, then add the secure annotation like this. Next, we will make product controller 
as a default landing page of the successful login. For that, open and edit OS app on application Groovy. Then add this configuration. That it. Just run the application and you will see the secure request for web application is at the beginning of this video. You can get the article and full source codes in the description below. If you think this tutorial is useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and see you later.